Hi everybody, welcome back to Coals of Fire. I'm Cheyenne. And I'm Jared. And we are the Coals. On our channel, we talk about a whole bin bunch of different things um, when it comes to lifestyle, uh, family, uh, biblical, different biblical perspectives. We even like to break down some scriptures here on our channel. But this week, we are discussing frugality. We're doing a series on frugality, and today's topic is actually on transportation. And so, um, without further ado, we hope you guys really enjoy these tr um, transportation tips on how to cut costs with transportation and just how to be more frugal. So, take it away, babe. Yes, for our list, it's going to start off with using public transit. So take advantage of public transportation if it's available in your area. Monthly or weekly passes are often cheaper than individual fares. So not everyone has access to public transportation. Um, kind of like in our area, it's kind of, you just have to either take a bike or drive or whatever. So this, if it's available, take advantage of it. Um, usually you'll see more of that in city areas yeah. so if you're somewhere like um atlanta, New atlanta or new york. new york um it definitely might be cheaper for you to go ahead and just have a uh, you know public transportation and sometimes they even have like certain passes that you can get um if you are someone who maybe works in atlanta i know they have something called the peach pass and um that can just make it a lot easier for you peach passes i think for um the peach the lane that they have for driving but doesn't get it, on the highway can it save gas if you're able to go faster on the freeway or no no probably a little bit i mean I it's more know. so a time thing oh so you don't have to worry about traffic well, what he said, but yeah, definitely beneficial if you live in the city. The next part of our list is carpooling. Share rides with coworkers or friends going in the same direction. Carpooling saves gas and reduces wear and tear on your vehicle. Yeah, I mean, if you know that you live close to someone and you guys work together, or maybe you're just in school or something like that, or college, um, it definitely could help to carpool. Sure. Walk or bike. For shorter distances, walking or biking can save money on fuel, parking, and vehicle maintenance. Plus, it's great for your health. I know for us, I mean, we've thought about it. I don't really think it would be beneficial for us only because his job, it's not far, but it's like 30 minutes away. So biking would probably be like an hour. Yeah. So, biking. well not really bikes be. can be really fast well biking but not like if it's like a scooter um you could save money on gas and then it would be quicker that way too so um it just depends on i guess if it's that's something that not. you yeah if it's motorized if that's something that you're interested in I personally am not a huge fan of scooters only because I feel like it's a safety issue in my opinion. But if that's something that you're interested in, go for it. The next step in our list is drive efficiently. Avoid rapid acceleration, excessive braking, and speeding. These driving habits can significantly reduce fuel efficiency, costing you more in gas. I, I personally feel like you should just be doing that stuff anyways for safety reasons. But yeah, I mean, when you rev up and brake hard and uh, don't know how to drive in a way that's not conserving your gas, you are also wasting your money. You can also, if you feel like the weather is good enough, just drive without AC running or heat running, that will save your gas as well. Um, especially if, say like if you're running on an empty tank and you need to conserve that your gas, try to make sure all of your AC and heating is off. That will help save gas. So even when you have a full tank, it'll help as well. Roll down that window. 
get that extra air. You don't need that AC. Um, well, sometimes you do if you live in Georgia, but you get my point. Um, okay, what's the next The one? next tip is to keep up with car maintenance. So that is routine maintenance like oil changes and tire inflation can help your car run more efficiently, save fuel, and reduce the chance of expensive repairs down the road. So make sure you're checking your tires, make sure they're not balding, and make sure that you pay attention to your odometer to see how many miles you have in the car and what's the next time you need to change your oil. It just saves the life of the car um, and it can also prevent you from having, like it said, worse issues um, because you don't, don't keep up your maintenance checks later on down the road that are more expensive. So, all right. And it can also help with the resale value of that car because when people buy cars, they like to look up the car facts and they like to see if you did regular maintenance checks and it does show up on the car. That's true. It's another thing. The next tip is to combine errands. Plan your trips to combine errands, reducing the frequency and distance you drive. This saves on gas and reduces wear on your vehicle. So if you can just, if you have a lot of things you have to do or you have to go out and drive and go with like shopping or whatever, make sure you plan your route in a way where you're not doing a lot of circling around or driving extra than you need to be. So like just strategize how your route's gonna be before you leave the house. I know for us, like our chore slash errand day is Sundays because we are Sabbath keepers. So we don't do um, our errands on Saturdays like a lot of other people might. And so, yeah, it does help to have like a list um, of things that you already have planned for that day. Um, and also can, like he said, save you a lot of gas instead of going back and forth to different places throughout the week. Our next tip is to consider a fuel rewards program. Many grocery and fuel stations offer reward programs that give discounts on gas. Look into options available in your area. That's pretty much almost every, I'm not gonna say every, but I know like Shell does it for sure. Um, Kroger's Broker. does it, Sam's Club, I'm pretty sure does it. Would we save more money if we didn't get our gas from Walmart gas and did Kroger instead? Well, the thing with Kroger's, um, they look at how much you buy from like the grocery store and give you a discount based off of that. It's not like, they don't give you a discount for going to the gas station. At least I don't think so. Unless no, it's I think they do. Because I have a Kroger's thing and uh -huh. it goes based off of how much you shop there. So when you shop a lot over there, it adds like stuff to your, to, I your, don't... to when you get like a discount on gas. That's how it works. I, I don't have know to if there's look like into that. I'm not sure because I think I remember my parents. They used to, we used to always use the Kroger Unless gas, it's like a and it's like you you rewards it builds have. up. I think I don't know, but if you have a Kroger near you, that's a huge like rewards thing. He mentioned at Sam's Club. We usually get our gas from Walmart, and it's pretty cheap there. It depends where you live. But yeah, it just depends on where you live. Our next look tip, into the Krogers. Our next tip is to compare insurance rates. Shop around annually to make sure you're getting the best rate on car insurance. Also, also ask about mileage-based discounts if you drive less. Honestly, I think that we should definitely do this this year because I personally have a remote job and I feel like when you have a remote job, and they know that you're not driving often. Um, I'm pretty sure insurance companies sometimes cut the cost. So we should do that this year. Yep, That's a good idea. It. Just every year, try to call your insurance company and see if there's any new discounts or things that you can bring down. And then like it said, don't just you know put all your eggs in that one basket, shop around compare prices our next our next tip is to drive an economical car if you're in the market for a vehicle look for a fuel efficient model with a strong reliability rating to minimize future expenses i think we did pretty good with my chevrolet spark i mean it's pretty economical 
it's really tiny um uh you have a RAV4 I mean it's not a hybrid I feel like it's average gas as an SUV if it's talking about something reliable you would think of certain brands like Toyota Honda maybe even Mazda um, she says she's had her Chevy Spark for a while, which does have good gas mileage because it's a smaller car, but it is a Chevy. I don't know. I'm not familiar with Chevy Spark, but she has, so she's had it for a while. And the only thing I can say is wrong with is the AC is, keeps getting broken on it. Our next tip is DIY small repairs. For minor issues, you can save money by doing simple repairs and maintenance, like replacing wiper blades or air filters on your own on your own so yeah i mean i agree like if you can do it yourself try to do it yourself you'll save a lot more money there's this amazing thing called youtube and if it's not something that's super complicated and you can learn go for it i mean it's the same thing with repairs in your house right you save a lot more money trying to learn how to do things yourself than having to pay fees to get someone else to do it for you yeah, some of the, but your basic things that you have to do, like changing, like I said, or changing wiper blades, that's very easy. Uh, air filters, very easy too. You just go on YouTube, oil. it's not that hard, hard. Yeah, oil changes are not hard either. And those, I think the, if anything, that thing, the thing that costs the most is the oil changes. That will be something you can save a lot of money on if you can do yourself. Our next tip is to avoid premium gas. Use the type of gas recommended in your owner's manual. Premium fuel is typically unnecessary unless your vehicle specifically requires it. So if you have a SUV, which most of the premium, I'm not gonna say most, but a good amount of SUVs take premium gas and have that as an owner's manual recommendation. So like, just be mindful of that, like it said. Um, also, the next tip is to consider remote and only use premium if, if it r recommends it. If you're not, go with that regular gas. Consider remote work if your job allows it. Work from home occasionally to save on commuting costs. I know that I work from home, and I know we save a pretty penny because I work from home. So you're saving on a lot of stuff. You're saving on gas and whatever else you got you know so yep and then our last tip is to use a ride share app for occasional travel for infrequent travel it may be cheaper to use ride share services than to own a vehicle especially when you consider maintenance insurance and gas i'm not sure about that one about doing that because you end up being with strangers and people you don't know but hey if you need to get somewhere you need to get somewhere yeah depends on your situation yeah well that's all we have for you guys yep so thank you guys for watching please like comment and subscribe and have a great weekend we hope to see you again and thank you for watching this episode of coals of fire don't forget to let us know how you feel in the comments yeah have a good one Bye. bye, -bye.